Hello guys and welcome again. Uh, this video I am going to show you how to create elevation views. We'll minimize that and we're going to go back to level one. So here we are on level one. As you see out here, you see these little icons kind of out to the side. Those are your elevation views. Uh, they come as part of this template. We're working in an architectural template. Don't ever erase those. Don't ever delete them. Okay. Um, I mean, you need those. Those are your elevation views. Where do they link to? Well, if you go over to the left into the project browser, you will see where it says elevations, building elevations. Okay. So I'm going to go to the south, which will be this elevation right here, looking that way. Um, click on that, and you now I can see the building in elevation view from the south. And about the only thing that you would change here is probably the level. Um, you may at times do some sort of detailing in here as well, if, you're, if it was necessary. Uh, but you have your east, north, south, and west. Okay. Now, let's say you've probably, that you accidentally deleted one, two, or all of them. Uh, well, we'd have to make some more. How do we do that? Okay, well, back to level one. And, okay, for some reason, these don't always, the, the secondary ones don't always come out the same way the uh, primary ones do. Um, but we'll just kind of work with that. Okay, so let's see, I forget where it is now, view, and elevation. Okay, so elevation view, of course, you got two choices, a framing elevation, and that would be to create a framing elevation to show vertical bracing, okay, and then an elevation view, a regular elevation view, which is what I just clicked on, and as you can see, you have this little elevation icon following around. And it turns as you go around to each side of the building. Sometimes it does not turn, which I don't like it when it does that. But if it doesn't, you just get a little bit closer to the building and it will turn. Okay, I can even make an elevation just for this little 45 degree wall if I wanted to. It's not really necessary. Okay, but and sometimes, you know, like it's doing right now, it will only go in its proper direction if I'm closer to the home. So I might have to like place it there. And then get out of the uh, elevation tool by hitting the escape button and then selecting it and then moving it manually like that to where I want it to go. Okay. So that will, if you come over here to the left, you can see now I have another elevation view. Okay. Elevation 1A. I might want to rename that simply by selecting rename and we'll call it um, South Close. Okay, so now I have one called South Close. So here is, let me double click on it, the South Close view. As you see, it doesn't show a whole lot. I think it's probably the depth of that view. Let me go back to level one. Yes, it is the depth. See how the depth is right there? So I'll definitely want to stretch this out to at least get the front of the building. And I also may want to stretch the sides out a little bit there, too. Okay, so now it should give us what we want. So south close. And then we're going to go to the regular south, and you can see the difference. Okay, no need for having two views like that. But um, it just depends on what you're doing. Um, you know, you can create uh, section views to do some detailing, or you can create these elevation views. Some people do uh, elevation views like in the the uh, kitchens and baths to kind of show the uh, cabinetry and the arrangement of the plumbing fixtures and things like that. Um, so that that's one of the uses for that. Of course, there's tons of others, but those are some of the more, more simple ones. And I'm a simple guy, so I stick to the simple stuff. All right. So anyway, that is all I can think of on elevation views. Uh, now, as far as these elevations right here, where I'm circling, those are automatically there if you choose this template. If you choose the architectural template, it will always have your elevation views, your east, north, south, and west already included. Uh, let's say I guess the next video will be create 3D views. That's where things start getting a little fun there. So uh, let's go ahead and create that video. We'll see you there.